Hey there, this is Professor Bahara. Uh, today I am demonstrating how to measure acceleration due to gravity by using three polar apparatus. So we need to measure two things. One is the height from which we uh, uh, we drop the ball or metal bob and uh, uh, other thing is we need to measure uh, the time required. Okay, let me show you. This is my three polar apparatus. This consists of landing pad and a magnet. In this magnet, I can attach a ball. See right here, metal ball is attached with magnet. Once I press on the start button on my timer, it will drop from this height and land on landing pad. Okay, I already said height is uh, 95 centimeter. Now, uh, I need to measure time. How long does it take to fall from uh, 95 centimeter to the ground? So I will press on, on this start button. Once I press on this start button, ball will fall down uh, from this magnet and land on the landing pad right down there. So let me press on here to measure the time. Okay, so see here, you can see the time required to travel this metal ball uh, is about 0.44 second. So with this value of time and the distance of 0.95 meter, when I convert 95 centimeter into meter, I will get 0.95. I have formula to calculate the acceleration due to gravity. That is the gravitational pull. That means how strongly gravity is pulling towards the center of the earth. I can easily calculate the acceleration due to gravity. Here is my formula how to calculate Z. This is the acceleration due to gravity and this is the distance. We can say height and this is time taken uh, or time of flight of the ball. So Z is equal to two times uh, nine uh, 0.95 divided by t squared so 0.44 squared when i put this value in my calculator i'm getting exactly uh, 9.8 meter per second squared so this is a pre pole apparatus so this is measuring time very accurately and you know i can measure my distance very easily so i'm getting exact value of acceleration due to gravity is equal to 9.8 meter per second square